Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. This year, Kyungi Province will continue its Foreign Worker Rest Facility Improvement Program so as to remedy poor living environments for foreign workers in the province. The objective of this program is to improve foreign worker rest facilities used as temporary residences by foreigners who have nowhere else to stay due to job loss, natural disaster or other causes, thereby improving their quality of life and ensuring their stable acclimation. While Korea's restricted development zone designation system has been effective in preventing urban sprawl, Residents of such zones are suffering due to related regulations. However, support programs for these residents have been proposed by the local governments of Kyunggi Province, such as those for facility expansion, welfare enhancement, tuition and electricity cost support, housing improvement, and LPG tank supply. After determining priorities, the province will propose the programs to the Korean Ministry of Land, Infrastructure, and transport. Final selections will be made by September with the selected programs receiving national subsidies for up to 90 percent of associated costs. On February 11th, the 357th Kyungi Provincial Assembly Extraordinary Session, the first session held at the new Provincial Assembly building in Gwangyo, ended with the second general meeting. This extraordinary session handled a total of 40 agenda items, including the passage of an ordinance on public bus terminal management and operation by cities and counties, as well as free five-minute addresses by Assembly members. The Assembly's next extraordinary session is slated to begin on March 22nd and will run for 10 days. On February 11th, the Ordinance on the Management and Operation of Privately Invested Roads and on the Revision of Related Contracts, which strengthens local government rights in terms of such roads, was passed by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly. This follows the passage of the Ordinance Draft by the Assembly's Construction and Transportation Committee on February 9th. This Ordinance was proposed to prevent the imposition of excessive tolls such as those controversially levied for the Ilsan Bridge. According to this ordinance, Kyungi Province will be able to request operation contract revision in cases where the operator seeks an excessive amount of funds that could lead to a toll increase. The tiger has been a symbol of the Korean Peninsula from the myth of Dangun up to the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics, for which a tiger was the mascot. With the advent of the Year of the Tiger, a tiger-themed art exhibition opened at the Waljun Art Center of Ichun City. Running until April 3rd to boost public morale during the COVID-19 pandemic, this exhibition will showcase a variety of tiger representations created by Korean artists. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently apprehended a number of dealers of illegal medical devices and health food items. Violators used a range of deceptive tactics, such as selling muscle-relaxing devices for dementia prevention and promoting general products as brain ailment safeguards. Information on the certification, utilization, and effectiveness of medical devices can be found on the online medical device inquiry desk of the Ministry of Food and Drug Safety. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.